No, this is not the Batman and Wolverine amalgamation figure. Hello and welcome back to the Nerd Room. My name is James Sharmack and today we are doing a review of the Nighthawk figure from the Armored Thanos wave and uh, Marvel Legends. So, as I stated earlier, Nighthawk is not the amalgamation of Wolverine and Batman from the DC Marvel crossover. He's his own guy. Um, he started out as a guy who just drank a, I guess they call it an alchemy, or you know, it's, they can't say a chemical, I guess, and I gave him quote unquote above average strength, so I guess he could lift like over a hundred pounds, I don't know. It's not Captain America strong, but still strong. And he started out as a villain, but with this uh, Squadron Sinister, but the, on the very first, the first plot they had when they were trying to melt the ice caps, he's like, you know, this isn't such a good idea. I'm gonna be a hero. So, yeah. He's another one of those, damn yeah, shit switching sides. And he joined the Defenders and a couple of other teams. So we're going to talk about the figure. We might talk a little bit about the character and the powers. Let's see how it goes. So we have the Nighthawk figure. Uh, to me, it looks a lot reminiscent of the old Blue Falcon character from the Dynamite cartoon. But I know he's his own guy. Uh, I like the color scheme on him. I know he's been in comic books I've read. He's probably been more of a background to me than anything, but you know, I'm sure people there are probably fans, I guess. I don't know. I'm I just know he exists. So, um anyways, look at the box. He has no team allegiance. That's a little bummer, right? Uh, but he comes with a, than, a couple parts for Thanos, we'll talk about that later on. But you know, it's a little tight in the box as the, the just goes right up to the front. Nice picture of the character on the side, on the back. Another picture of the character. It says right here that originally a member of Sin Squadron Sinister, the wealthy Kyle Richmond, has a change of heart and joins the Defenders. He is, you know, who wants to melt the world with the ice clamps? It's not cool. Anyways, uh, other figures in the Thanos wave down below. I'm doing reviews of every single one, so if you want to find those, I'll stick them on a playlist and uh, should be easy to find. Same artwork on that side. Back to the front, as I said, there's no team affiliation on the top there, but Thanos right there in case you're looking for the top. Legends there, Nighthawk on the bottom. So let's uh, open up the box and take a look at the figure. Okay, so we have problems right off the bat with this guy. This guy with the cape is very, very, very back heavy. Like you see the way I have him posed? He can't really stand up straight because the cape's gonna drag him down. I mean, okay, it's not cape. They're rocket power wings, but it's gonna drag him backwards. Like I'll show you for example. <clears throat> stand up straight. I'm gonna try to stand him up. Nope, the cape is too heavy, can't really do it. But anyways, we're gonna try to do uh, the review of the anyways. Cape notwithstanding, so anyways, very cool looking figure. I do like the design of the mask. I like the uh, shimmer in the eyes. Very cool. The shine in him. I mean, I get that, you know, he's supposed to be... He's sort of kind of like a wolf, the vulture. He has claws and he has the rocket power wings. Because as you can see, you know, it's designed to emulate wings. But yeah, he can't really do stand up unless you really get him in like some extreme poses to, you know compensate for the wings or you know you can use the wings to stand them up but that's about it the wings are very detrimental to the figure but he does come with uh, the right arm of Thanos and I guess Thanos' new weapon because you know why uh, why leave all your fighting in just the infinity infinity zones am I right so anyways let's talk articulation so his head goes back that far for flying goes forward that far for forward all the way around a little tilt back and forth his arm goes up that far all the way around bicep rotation double joint at the uh, elbow no calf rotation but he has the wrist back and forth and uh, rotation his back goes back that far goes forward that far waist goes all the way around legs go apart that far go forward and back that far uh, the uh, 
What is that? The thigh rotation, that's what it, I'm tired, excuse me. Thigh rotation, of course, uh, double joint at the knee, uh, calf rotation, and back and forth, and ankle pivot. So, we'll try to get him some flying poses, I guess, since he doesn't want to stand up. Let's see, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, so that is my th video review of the Nighthawk figure from the Armored Thanos Wave. Uh, he's perfectly fine if you do him with a flight stand or the more extreme of a pose that's using the cape to help him stand, but he really, you know, can't really just stand up in a regular uh, collection without some kind of support or stand or whatever because the the uh, wings are so back heavy, it's just ridiculous. But still, uh, if you're a completionist, you know, this is the guy you gotta get. If you're looking for the, to get the armored Thanos figure, this is the guy you wanna get. Otherwise, you know, it's okay to pass on it, no big deal. But, anyways, uh, that's this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, we're doing more reviews, we got some more reviews coming. Got the Armored Thanos coming up. I can't wait to do that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, got some more Endgame figures I'm going to do. Those are going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah. If you guys like what I'm doing, please keep on watching. Write in the comments below, whatever. Let me know you dig what I'm doing. And maybe support the channel a little bit by you know liking the video, sharing, maybe even subscribing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.